effective i'm actually reading because yeah being on camera is something different <laughs> subscribe to this youtube channel yet feel free to click the subscribe button so that you can join the hope nation people who breathe hope to a generation by those guys uh this is my introductory video and i'm actually supposed to tell you who i am uh i think what i do and why we have this channel coming up so who am i i am a blogger I have been blogging on on Cradle of Hope for the last three years. It has been such a nice experience just writing my heart out and just um, being a source of hope, being a conduit in which Christ in me, the hope of glory can flow has been an honor. And so uh, this year I decided to just step out and, and have Cradle of Hope on a YouTube font it's probably one of my best decisions this year there have been good decisions this year i've had to make decisions which i'll tell you about uh, as we go along but this has been one of my best decisions because it's always been my passion to see a generation to see our generation healed to see our generation contacting hope even in the midst of hopeless situations that um, we can move past all these challenges, all those tags that we've that have been put on our generation, uh, tags that I don't like. Honestly, I don't like how uh, how most times we are not uh, rated as that generation. But I'd like to demystify all those thoughts and say that there is hope. In this generation there is hope in this world that even in areas where hope was not seen hope will start to be to be relieved and so Christ is in me and Christ should be in you Christ is in you so that you can release him to every atmosphere so I what do I love to do I love releasing hope as a major thing so what will we be doing here <laughs> first we'll be talking a lot we will talk but uh the word of god which breathes life into situations is what will be our anchor uh christ will be our reference because christ in us is the hope of glory and there are particular areas that i'm honestly so uncomfortable about i'm uncomfortable with seeing broken families broken homes I'm uncomfortable with seeing people in bad mental spaces, people in depression, people in depths, in, 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 in anxiety. I'm uncomfortable with seeing people sick. I'm uncomfortable with seeing people hurting. And this is going to be a space where healing will be released, uh, where hope will be restored where our families will be restored where i am so passionate about us having thriving relationships all through that relationships are actually god's goodness towards us and sometimes we just hear conversations or sometimes we're in spaces where relationships aren't given the honor that they should be given not just because maybe we haven't been taught or maybe we have been in spaces where the the truth about relationships hasn't been been well presented to us and so through the word of god we will be healing together even in spaces where uh, where we have been hurt in such contexts we will be choosing to work in relationships that are thriving and we will be a source or rather a conduit in which people will experience uh, wholeness in relationships. So even as you subscribe, like 
as you subscribe and join the hood the the hope nation what you're saying is i'd want to contact this hope that is in christ jesus and not only contact it but i'd like to be that person who releases that hope in every sphere that i'm in uh sometime last year i just sat down and i asked myself why am i in this world what's my goal and i um i i a statement just got inspired in my heart and it is for me to be effective i'm actually reading because yeah being on camera is something different <laughs> Uh, to be effective in establishing the kingdom of God in every sphere that he puts me in. So this is one of the spheres that he has put me in, this YouTube space. And one of the things that I'd like you to join me in doing is to be effective in establishing the kingdom of God uh, in every sphere that he puts us and you and me in. So... Uh, I'd like you to just enjoy this ride. It's it's going to be an adventure, really. Uh, we're going to be crude. I tend to be really crude. It, it even surprises me. But the idea of being authentic is, is just does something to my heart because I think we are the best when we are most authentic, when we're not hiding, when we are choosing that even in the process, even when we can't see things in their most perfect form, we can go out there and say, I'm not hiding. I am presenting who I am in Christ Jesus the way I am. And um, yes, so who is it for? It's for it. Who is yeah? Who is this for? It's for anyone who would like to contact hope. It's for anyone who who would like to have answers for questions they've been having. It's for anyone who feels like there can be more in this world. There can be more. More can come out of our generation, and it is for anyone who believes that hope is still possible in the midst of conversations that are pointing to hopelessness that even if the conversations that are pointing to hopelessness those are not necessarily the truth um yeah that's all share like and subscribe to this channel to join the hope